Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. Guys, the newest episode of Arrow. Arrow, season four, episode 15, Taken. Just finished airing on TV. Now I'm here to review slash just talk about the episode. If you've not seen the newest episode of Arrow, Taken, click away now. I'm getting into spoilers. I will ruin the episode for you, okay? I'm getting into spoilers. You've been warned, okay? Are you gone? Are you gone? As I usually say within these reviews. Okay, let's jump into the episode now. So the first thing first I want to talk about is actually the ending of the episode. That's not a surprise. Okay, a lot of my reviews, I jump right to the ending of the episode, then I work my way around the entirety of the episode. So the first thing first, let's talk about Felicity and Oliver. Now, I kind of figured this was going to happen. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen in this episode or later down the season. But after the reveal of, I have a son, Felicity, I didn't tell you. I mean, it, it was, you know, his mom's idea of it to keep him secret. But I made the decision. But you, you understand that, right, Felicity? You get, you you understand where I'm coming from. So you don't have to give me the ring back. She takes off the ring, places it on the table. She's like, I need my space. And all of a sudden you hear this, you hear this like sound. And then her foot starts moving because they put the implant in her in the back that um, that Curtis made for her and able to walk. And she just stands up out of her chair and Oliver just looks at her. She looks down at him with these tears in her eyes because she was crying and being upset over the fact that Oliver, you lied to me about your son, which is understandable. And it's the weirdest thing because she's like giving the speech about how she needs space and all this kind of stuff. She takes the ring off. She was going to roll out of the apartment, right? No. Her legs start working all of a sudden, and she just starts. She just walks out of the apartment. No extra words were said once she gets out of that uh, wheelchair that I remember. She just starts walking slowly, closes the door. Arrow logo, end of the episode. I'm like, all right. <laughs> the flash ends the way it did last night, and tonight they end Arrow with Felicity not rolling out. She walks out. It's crazy stuff. Mid season finale. They ended it with her bloodied up being shot out by uh, Hive members and they end the kind of this next break with her walking out of the apartment. Crazy stuff. So there is that. I don't know if that's going to be able to get fixed. Who knows? We'll probably have a couple episodes of where it's going to be awkward as hell in the Arrow Cave. So anyways, let's jump to the next part of the episode I do want to talk about, which is Damien Dark. Now... As we kind of saw in the ending of the last episode, that he has William, Oliver's son. And I was thinking, okay, it's going to be a heavy, heavy Damien Dark episode. Now, it wasn't too heavy in the sense of screen time for Damien Dark, but when he was on screen, he was actually very menacing and very powerful. There was a couple of moments I noticed personally that when the shots are showing the back of Damien Dark's head and you know, the, the stunt and going on and you know the punching and stuff, you can tell it's not actually the, the guy who actually plays Damien Dark. It's a stunt double. So I kind of noticed that, but that's not really a fault. I mean, they had to do it for certain reasons because, you know, if these actors that play on the show did all the stunts, they would not be able to get 23 episodes out in a season. So can't really fault for that. But I do want to say on the front of, of his menacing a way of delivering these lines and calling up Oliver randomly, like, you're, you're going to you're gonna uh, announce you're going to be um, stepping down as running for mayor, Oliver, on Friday. And then a little bit later, Damien just calls up Oliver again. No, you're going to do it tonight. You're going to do it tonight. And Oliver actually did it because Damien forced him, forced him to do that. Um, and overall, I felt like Damien's arc in this episode was very interesting. Because, like, he was building up. He had William. He was taking him away from where he originally was. And Damien Dark was kicking ass. Damien Dark kicked Vixen's ass for a bit. Kicked Oliver's ass. I mean, come on. And he, at one point, he had Laurel, Thea, and Oliver all in a chokehold at the end. And uh, I do want to talk about the thing what actually that Vixen actually does. But... Overall, I felt like the the arc was interesting for Damien, but ultimately, as we saw in this episode, uh, his little totem is destroyed, okay, by Vixen. So I'm not sure where they're gonna take his arc now because he's not he he doesn't have the power, he doesn't have magic anymore. So I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I really don't know because I I thought that when they said okay, well he's gonna release William to them in public or some kind of place or whatever, but we also know where his totem might be, so we gotta make a decision. Let's just go to his house. And I was really thinking that they would not be able to get the totem. I really thought that Damien would have that totem still. They saved William somehow, and that's it. No, they destroyed the totem and saved William. So I'm like, where do they take Damien Dark? I mean, he's not. 
a magic guy anymore. I don't know. I'm very curious on that front. I guess we'll have to wait and see in a couple weeks when the show comes back. So, like I said, interesting arc. Didn't expect the outcome. Didn't expect the totem to get destroyed. But it did. So let's see where they take Damien Dark's character. Because uh, now he's not really that powerful anymore. I mean, he's still the leader of Hive or uh, a big member in Hive. But other than that, where do you go? So... Anyways, next up I do want to talk about is Vixen in this episode, which actually does a lot of cool things. She flies in this episode. She gives some advice to Oliver about being a dad in this episode. She does some pretty cool fighting. And the CGI they used uh, for her turning into the, the animal she's about to become, like the gorilla when she's trying to smash the totem, when she turns into the rhino. I think it was a rhino and hits that guy at the beginning of the episode when you first see her on screen. And then she mentions that she has owl ears because she used it in over to over here, Oliver uh, conversation. So that was pretty cool. Um, but overall, I felt like it was pretty cool to see her introduced into the live action aspect. They had a pretty cool thing where Oliver said that we had an animated encounter or something like that, basically saying, uh, yeah, I was on her animated show. <laughs> so that happened. But it's kind of cool how they nodded at that. Um, but ultimately, I think with this, I think Vixen is going to be taken as a very positive, like a, you know, po positive uh, uh, comeback. Uh, the reviews probably going to be very good for her in the episode because I felt like she did some pretty cool stuff in this episode. And there's a lot of things they could explore with that. So I think what they're doing is, because the way they ended the episode with her and Oliver was saying, you know, call me anytime. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm one call away too. Basically setting up more live action cro crossovers and animated as well because she has a season two coming up for her animated show. But I think ultimately what it might be setting up is that Vixen might become part of Team Arrow. I'm not really sure, but she could because, I mean, it worked out for the best. But, I mean, if they kill off a member of Team Arrow, if, if a member of Team Arrow is in the grave, they can replace her, replace her or him if it's Diggle. I hope it's not Diggle. And replaces that person with uh, Vixen. There you go. Starting off with Team Arrow, adding Vixen. Or they could use Vixen for Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. They've said Legends of Tomorrow will be switching out if the show continues into Season 2 and all that kind of stuff. It continues season per season. The, the goal is each season will be switching out characters. So next season, they could just bring in Vixen. So that'd be kind of cool to see that. And now one little small thing I do want to also mention about this episode is the little name drop of Constantine uh, saying that he's literally in hell. I'm not sure if that's a nod to the fact that his show is canceled for sure and it's never coming back. I don't know, but maybe he actually is in hell for something. Maybe we'll get some more clarification. Maybe he'll pop back up in season four of Arrow or something and get, kind of ex explain what the hell's going on there. And I usually don't talk about this because it literally just crossed my mind because I do want to bring it up. The flashbacks. I never talk about the flashbacks. And the reason why I am tonight is because I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, there is... I forget the guy's name. The beard dude. He's kind of like me with no glasses. And Oliver killed him last episode. And he pops back up. He has white in his eyes. And he's talking like, nah, die, die, nah. And it's really weird. And he has a really deep demonic voice. It's not really him because they shoot at him and he's not alive. And... It's just like, oh, okay, Oliver, you can pass, and he disappears because he has, like, this Constantine tattoo on his side that's glowing, and then he shines a light into this, like, little opening area, and then there's, like, a humongous cave, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Excuse my language, but jeez Louise, what is going on in the flashbacks? Can you imagine if they were trying to do something like this in the flashbacks for season one of Arrow? Can you imagine how freaking crazy that would have been if like season one of Arrow flashbacks, they introduced some kind of some kind of demonic thing that takes form of a, a guy who died and he's talking like all demonic and shit? what <laughs> so anyways guys that is my thoughts about this episode i thought it was a pretty good episode vixen was awesome interesting way they kind of dealt with the damien dark and how they concluded his part of this uh his arc in this episode and saving william and all that kind of stuff and the way that oliver just ultimately sends william and the mom away for like far away and he has no idea where they went so pretty awesome so anyway uh excuse me anyways guys let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this episode? Thank you guys for watching my review. Peace out.